Hey everyone, Brent Coley here, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a Microsoft form where the responses to the form will go into a live spreadsheet and not simply a static Excel document. If you've used Google Forms, you know that in a Google Form, the, the responses are put into a Google Sheet that just updates automatically every time a response is submitted. Now in a Microsoft form, the old traditional way to do it, responses are not updated automatically in a live spreadsheet, but rather put into a static spreadsheet. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have logged into my Office 365 account and I'm at the forms uh, page. You can get that by clicking on the waffle and clicking on forms. Now, the old way to do it would be to go to forms and then click a new form. Now I'm showing you what I would recommend not going this way, but and I'm gonna show you why. If you click on a new form, you will just create a form. Now I, I did this, I clicked on new form and I created this test form. I called it test form static, because I wanna show you how this is gonna give you static results. Just a simple first name, last name thing, uh, form. This is what it would look like live. And I went ahead and submitted it and I got a response. Now, in order to see my responses in the spreadsheet right now, I would click on Open in Excel, and it's going to download my thing right down here. And if I open up this Excel document, you're going to see that so far I put in SpongeBob as the name, but it's a static result. Right now, if I went to put another one in, so if I say Bobby Jones, and hit submit. Now I can go back to my form and see there's a second response, but in order to see them in the document, in the Excel spreadsheet, I have to click here. And it's gonna download another version of the spreadsheet. And you can see now there are both of my responses. So you can see the problem here is every time I wanna see the responses, I have to download a new version of the spreadsheet. Now let me show you a better way to do it. Rather than going to your forms page and clicking on new forms, here's what you do. Instead, go to your OneDrive account. Go to your OneDrive account and select the folder where you want to create your form. So I created a simple test forms folder and I'm gonna go ahead and click in there. There's nothing in there right now. So instead of going to forms and creating it, I'm gonna to go to the folder in my OneDrive and I'm gonna go up to new and I'm gonna go down to forms for Excel. Now what it's gonna do, it's gonna look exactly the same. When I click there, I wanna call it test form, or I'm gonna call this one live. And you'll notice it opens up a new tab. It creates the form for me. So watch here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same type of thing. Whoops, first name, we'll make that required. Add another one, I'm gonna say last name, and now I'm done. But now I'm gonna go ahead and share and grab the link here, and I'm going to paste this in here. To see the live form, and we'll go ahead and say, Sally, Ride and we'll hit submit. Now watch what happens when I go back to, whoops, let's find the right one. Here's my live form. Look at the responses. Look at the difference here. Now you can see analyze detailed responses in real time. Notice the difference. There's a little cloud because this is a live Excel document as opposed to Here's my static one. Look, no cloud, cloud. So now if I click here, I'm gonna open up my Excel document in a live Excel document. And every time a, sub a submission is put into the form, it's going to show up here. So once again, when you create your Microsoft Forms, go to the folder and click New Forms for Excel. That's how you get a live spreadsheet.